Hi, I'd like to show you an arpeggio maker using JavaScript and P5.js and the P5 sound library. Um, here it is, here's your little demo. You can see that the notes get higher when I move to the right and they get softer when I move down. And I can go through the cycle of fourths, so now you're in the key of C. And I'll change it to the key of F with a mouse click. And then up another fourth to B flat. And a few more times. Okay, let's see how this works. Here's the code, it's all in one JavaScript file. And um, it's a P5.js sketch. So there's a setup function in here where we create the canvas to use the full width of the browser tab or page. We set the color mode to hue, saturation, and brightness because that makes it easier to go through the uh, hues here. Set the background color to black. And then there's a draw function that does the drawing. And then I have code up here to deal with uh, the sound. Here's a function called build octaves of arpeggios for a given key. And you call it with a number between 0 and 11, um, corresponding to the keys of C and C sharp and D and so on. And these are the frequencies for those notes. If you get a do a little search and find the frequencies of musical notes, you'll find that this is, this is I think this is C3, so it's C at octave number three. Um, okay, so this finds the fundamental frequency from here, uh, the frequency from which to build the arpeggios. And um, then we have this arpeggio template that consists of, um, let's, um, let's consider the key of C. So this would be a C, this would be an E, Here's a G and here's a B flat. So the, the units here are half steps going up the scale. And that's built using this note function, which is here. And it um, uses the fact that uh, when you go up an octave, you double the frequency. So when you go up a half step, which is one twelfth of an octave, you go up, you, you can multiply that starting point by uh, two to the power of um, some fraction of the 12 half steps. Okay, so that takes us to here. We've got this template that we use to build the multiple octaves of arpeggios. And then here's an array where we'll build those octaves. Here's a loop that goes for six octaves, starting with the one built on the fundamental, this, this lowest fundamental frequency here. And then it takes the template with these one, two, three, four notes in it, and it starts out by um, multiplying it by one. If you want to work this out, two, so I starts at zero, two to the power of zero is one. So we just multiply it by one. So we don't change it for the first octave. And then I becomes one, so two to the power of one is two. So now we double. Remember I mentioned that when you go up an octave, you double. And then um, each time you go up, you continue to double. So you have um, the powers of two. So you got um, the times one, and then times two, and then four, and then eight, and so on. Um, and then those octaves of the arpeggios get pushed into this array here, and then this function returns that. Okay, so that's the build octaves of arpeggios function. Now um, we have a variable called key, and we start out in the key of C, which is represented by zero, and that goes up to 11 uh, for each of the 12 half steps. And then we build the octaves of arpeggios and, and uh, store it here. And here's, the, here's how you make sound with P5. You create an oscillator and start it. I talked about setup. Mouse clicked will change the key. Um, going up a fourth 
is the same as going up by five half steps. So uh, from C to F would be uh, C going up to C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and F. So you've made five um, changes. And then if it goes over 12, uh, if it gets to 12, we wrap it around. That's what this modulo operator does here. And then once we've calculated the new key value, we rebuild the octaves of arpeggios. And this is used for uh, logging. It, um, if you turn on the console log in the browser, you'll see the frequencies when they change. Um, the draw here needs to first map the X position into some position in this array of frequencies over the octaves. And um, there's a nice map function in P5 that takes the input, which is the mouse X, whose values range from this to this, and maps those values into this range from zero to the, um, essentially maps it over the, uh, of that array of notes. And once we've calculated the index, then we can extract the frequency from that array of notes. And then this is just for logging. Here we set the oscillator with the frequency. And now we need to set the volume based on where the mouse uh, Y position is, the Y value. So the map Y value takes, uh, has a range of this, and we're mapping it into from, um, it's inverted, so it increases as you go down. That's why the bigger number is first here. So um, this can get kind of loud, so I never go higher than half the maximum amplitude. No stroke turns off the drawing the outside of these ellipses. The hue is made by mapping the mouse's X position to the range of hues. And the brightness is coming from the Y position. Then we fill using the hue and 100% of saturation and whatever the brightness is. And then we draw the ellipses. The program is on GitHub, and you'll find it in my web games repository, and it's in Arpeggio. You'll find the HTML, very simple, and then the sketch that we just looked at. It's also on CodePen, codepen.io slash dcbrichetti, and you'll find it there under Arpeggio Maker. Uh, okay, have fun making arpeggios.